Well, Congresswoman Gifford's office has often said she would be back. Her return to Capitol Hill last night really took just about everyone by surprise. It was a moment few thought they would ever see. A smiling Gabrielle Giffords walking back onto the House floor. Seven months ago, the Arizona Congresswoman was critically wounded in a brazen attack that shocked the country. On January 8th, a clear, beautiful Saturday morning, Giffords was home in Tucson, meeting with constituents outside a local supermarket when a gunman walked up and opened fire. Six were killed, 13 wounded. Giffords, shot in the head, was rushed to University Medical Center for emergency surgery. Her husband, NASA astronaut Mark Kelly, was soon by her side. She is a fighter like, you know, nobody else that I know. As she lay in her hospital bed, that first sign came just 24 hours later when Gifford squeezed her husband's hand. Five days later, she opened her eyes for the first time. Miracles happen every day. Less than two weeks after being shot, Giffords left Arizona for Houston to begin her rehabilitation, where doctors marveled at her progress. In terms of recovery for brain issues, this is really at lightning speed. On February 9th, we learned Giffords had spoken for the first time. Then, as the weeks passed, we learned she wanted to go to her husband's final shuttle launch to witness it firsthand. She boarded a plane for Florida in April, only to find the mission scrapped. Zero and liftoff. But less than three weeks later, she was back at Kennedy Space Center to watch Kelly blast into space for Endeavor's final mission. In June, new photos of Giffords appeared on her Facebook page. The first time we saw what she looked like as she recovered. Her hair cropped short and brown. She looked thin, but she was smiling. That same smile she wore last night when, as a surprise to nearly everyone, Gifford stood among her colleagues in Congress mouthing the words, thank you, and once again, uniting this house.